Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Look at that, door to spirit, door to spirit. <laughs> so whatever is coming towards you is sent from the divine. The number 32 could be significant. Um, that reduces into a five. So that is about some form of change, transformation. All right. Angel of strength. Again, a number five here with the number 50 could be significant for you. All right. Strength and courage coming out of fear. It might be time for you to release fear. Okay. Ooh, what is coming towards my collection? Whatever. Oh, collective, not collection. Okay. A man holding a coin is coming towards you. The number 43, bottom of the deck is envy. Yeah, I was getting some sort of deceit from this. Interesting. Hmm. We'll see. We'll clarify this man holding a coin. All right. Who or what is coming? But that's earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy here. So this person here could be, they could have good intentions. I don't know. We'll see. Or there could be some people who are jealous and envious of you when you meet this person. Okay, we'll see. What else? Who would have? Oh, yeah. Door to romance just flew out. So, okay, we'll see. The number 33. So now we have 333 here. Um, You could be seeing 333. So just Google that and see what 333 means on the bottom of the deck. It's the sun card. More Leo energy. So a lot of Leo energy here. And Earth energy here right now. So whatever this is, the number one. Um, you have new love coming in maybe, okay? Or whoever this person is, they love you. All right, let's see. This person could be very confident. You might be a little closed off and a little guarded, but we'll see here. Or somebody here could be professing their love to you. Ooh, what is coming towards my collective, please? Power. Ooh, power. Oh my gosh. This is great energy. The number 16. Full moon energy. What is it? What is it that you need to release? Spirit wants to remind you that you have the power to do whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, let's read power real quick because this is good. Okay. Full moon, full moon energy. Step into your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Okay. Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to larger possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. I have the power. It is real. That's your affirmation. I have the power. It is real. Okay. Let's pull another. Show me who or what is coming towards my collective. What do they need to be aware of? Balance. So now you're having a balanced power here, which is good. So this could be the number 19 to be significant. Bottom of the deck is release, which makes total sense. So there's something here that you need to release. It's giving energy of like you need to release something old so something new can come in with this full moon energy, especially power. You have the power to release it. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to do whatever it is that you want, manifest and attract whatever it is that you want. It is looks like it's just solely dependent on the balance that you have in your life and you releasing some things, okay? There was something happy here waiting on you, okay? Whatever this new connect, yeah, look at this heart chakra. Your fourth chakra is your heart chakra. So be make sure you're open to receiving here is what is giving, open to receiving love. Man holding a heart is right after that. And then after that is victory. The number 28 could be significant here. Some of you all are having victory over your finances. If your finances has, has been like a little rocky, okay? So make sure you're in this releasing energy here. All right, let's see. What else is coming towards my collective or who? What else do they need to be aware of here, spirit guides? Good energy. Leak take is so something, whatever this is that's coming towards you, it's going to be new and it's going to require you to take a leap of faith. Your spirit guides want you to trust and know that it's safe to make the move that you're considering, right? Come out of this caged energy. Feeling like you know you, you're want you want to protect yourself or you want to stay in your comfort zone. This is good. Don't be afraid. Have the strength and confidence. We saw the angel of strength come out earlier, right? If you look at that, bottom of the deck is new love. 
and intuition, new love and intuition. I love this. A new love or recommitment to a develop of love is developing and you already know the answers you see. So there goes that man holding the heart, man holding the coin, um, the sun card energy with the fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra. Just be open to receiving, okay? This is nice. I like this energy. Y'all have something real good coming in. Trust your intuition. I think you guys have been in the self-care mode where you've just been clearing your energy, paying attention, you know, releasing. You might already be in this releasing energy, right? You know, you know what your power is. You're in this balanced energy here. Yeah. You're releasing stuff. I like this. I really, really like this. So let's tap into this energy and see who this person is and find out more about them. Okay. New love coming in for the collective spirit, guys. Hey, thank you for joining. All right. Let's see more information about this new person. Tell me this new person coming in for the collective, please. The Ace of Pentacles just wanted to come out so bad. There's the Ace of Swords. That's that victory card. Remember, let me, let me run it back. Ace of Swords, whatever's coming in, Leo energy, the sun is going to make you very, very happy. It's being revealed to you, but you need to be open to receive, okay, to receive love. Make sure you're working on your heart chakra, right? Here goes that man holding a coin. This person wants to bring new, new love into you, but you have to be ready and open to receive, right? Because remember, we saw this door to romance pop out, but you see how this heart is in a cage, Right? You're going to have victory. Here's that victory card over something, okay? You may have been feeling left out in the cold, maybe a little lonely. Maybe some of y'all, too, have been, like, having some issues or some trouble with finances. That's not for everybody, okay? But the Ace of, Ace of Swords is, like, Spirit saying, yes, this is this, this is coming in. Spirit is coming. Yeah, look at that. There's that man holding a heart, the King of Cups. There's that man holding a heart, king of cups. Whoever this person is, they're emotionally vulnerable. They're emotionally available. They're kind-hearted. They're sweet, loving person, okay? This is nice. I like this. All right. What else? So, oh. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all ain't gonna believe what just came out. Three of pentacles, ace of pentacles. I mean, um, yeah, Three of Pentacles is here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you kind of setting your boundaries up. It's setting your boundaries. You got two Aces out here. Uh, this is somebody who is going to want to work with you. Now, for some of you guys, there's somebody here from the past that um, will we'll clarify. Clarify the Three of Pentacles for me. Uh oh, this Eight of Swords wanted to, I mean, the Eight of Wands wanted to pop out. So it's coming towards you quick. There was some sort of communication or some action being taken rather quickly. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. Oh, clarify the Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is the old person wanting to come back and bring balance. And, yeah, the old person. All right. You do have new love coming in, but there's somebody new here that wants to reconcile with you. Five of Cups energy there, regret, remorse, and loss. Okay. It's almost like you're rejecting. Some of y'all may be rejecting. You set boundaries with this person already and you're rejecting this new start with this person. You don't want to work with them anymore. Or this person in the past didn't want to work with you. They didn't want to put into the relationship or the connection because guess what came out when I clarified this three of pentacles? Because I was kind of like, oh, this is giving past energy. The Knight of Wands in reverse with the, the balance card, Libra energy here or Sagittarius energy. And it's in reverse, which is somebody who in the past was like, they were selfish, you guys. They were very selfish. Now they're in regret and remorse. And now they're like, oh, how can I come back in? You could be an air sign. You don't have to be specifically a Libra here. This is somebody who's a player in the past, too. Mm -mm. They got a lot of bodies. <laughs> they got a lot of bodies. So somebody wants to communicate with you and talk to you. What does this person want to communicate about? That they want new love with you, Ace of Cups. You got three aces out here. <laughs> you got the ace of 
Ace of uh, Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Only thing missing is that Ace of Wands. But it looks like to me, you guys are like rejecting a commitment with this person and you have your back turned to them also. So you might not be talking to them right now, but again, you have new love coming in. This is great. This is great. They want to talk about reconciling. Yeah. Show me, show me this King of Cups energy, please. Strength card. So now we got strength that came out twice. Hmm. This person's been holding back. Yeah, they've been holding back because they've been thinking Virgo energy. Uh oh, I dropped the hermit. Virgo energy. This person has been um self-reflecting and thinking about the things that they did in the past, basically. That's what this is. You know, I mean, it's two of wands in reverse. There's been delays. They did or they didn't make a decision. I don't even know why this two of wands is in reverse because it's not supposed to be. This deck should be upright. Who oh, this person is doing a lot of self-reflecting here. They're in regretful and remorseful for holding back when it came to you and giving to another commitment or connection. That's what this is, okay? What is this person thinking about? Clarify this hermit card. Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see. Clarify the hermit. What is this person thinking about? Well, okay. They're thinking about communicating with you for sure. Okay. Um, but they're also thinking about how attractive you are. Okay. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. They're thinking about talking to you. Okay. Having this conversation. I mean, the conversation is good news. Okay. But but again, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands is somebody here who is definitely, remember, this hermit came out. So this person might be trying to hold back from talking to you, right, with the strength card or trying to find the courage and the strength to come forward to you and the confidence to come to, to come talk to you. It's hard for them to hold back, though, because they're so, I feel like, magnetically drawn to you or attracted to you here. But they're in their head quite a bit. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, my gosh. Let's see here. Let's pull from a different deck. All right. I still feel like, you guys, this has been coming up in a reading a lot lately. Like choosing between new love and old love here. All right. Show me about this person thinking about my collective here. Yeah. Like I said, regret, remorse. This person is struggling. They regret their choices. They regret losing you. Now this person is having being forced to do some inner child healing with the inner child here. They're thinking about you a lot and they miss you. Six, that's six of cups energy. So we got like five of cups energy and a six of cups energy right now. And release. And this is the same card. This is the same energy release. So some of y'all may have literally released this person already. Or uh, this is this person doing the inner child healing and releasing the past the wounds you see this this is the same energy of both cards loosen your hold relax unwind release fear anxiety and doubt this person is trying to release fear and anxiety and doubt to come towards you or again this could be you doing this flip and switch the roles show me this person past person yeah see you're gonna be like no i released you because I don't trust you. You were deceptive. You were in this nine of wands energy in reverse. So you, that's that same. Remember, we already saw this rejection energy with the queen of uh, swords looking at has the queen of swords in this spread has her back facing this king of cups. OK, she's looking at this offer is being brought to her, but she's blocking it and she's thinking about it. And she's like, no, I don't think so. You're going to think long and hard. So that's why you might be in this protective shell right now. Because remember, we saw this door to romance and this heart is in a cage, in a closet. <laughs> Show us this person's energy here, please. Marriage. Mm. Legal contract. Fresh start. For some of you, this person may want to come back towards you and have a commitment, which is that Ace of Pentacles, right? They want to, for some of you, they want to offer you commitment. For some of you, that commitment could be marriage. It could be next step, next level, whatever it is, right? For some of y'all, shoot, this person could be married and they want a fresh start somewhere else. New opportunity, release the past. This, this is your second chance. It says legal partnership, commitment, marital bond. So somebody could be releasing, coming towards you saying, hey, I got this good news. 
please talk to me. Page of, page of Wands, I'm getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. Perception. So red flags, delusion, perception, secret, your own false self-beliefs. So this person could be coming out of, you know, they are in um, hermit mode. So they're seeing something for what it is, right? But also too, I don't know, you might be seeing something from a different perspective here too. Be sure not to have on your rose colored glasses here. It's kind of giving me like, show me the proof energy, right? Show me you're about to get married. I mean, show me you're about, maybe you are about to get married. Ooh, okay. You guys have, um, it's giving world card energy here, closed out of cycle, and there's something new coming in towards you that has some, there's some inspiration or an idea coming in for you that's going to really give you some form of achievement. There's, there's potential here. It, ooh, here's an offer. It says gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoicing your union. Oh my goodness. So we remember we just, we literally just saw marriage and fresh start. Literally. Wow. Okay. I didn't even expect that coming. All right. Show, show me what else, who else, and what else is coming towards the collective, please. That was interesting. Y'all, I took a long nap today. Oh my God. I was I woke up feeling like a zombie. Mm-hmm. And that was so good. Learning. You are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted territory ahead. Trade knowing for curiosity. Okay, so trust your intuition instead of being curious. Um, support. Someone will come into your life to offer support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe the magic within you. And I feel like that's that new love that you're going to get that supporting progress. They, yeah, you're making a lot of progress here. It says if things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately, expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you've been in. That's good. That is good. Let's see what else we got. Perspective. Yeah. Remember we saw that perspective card? It wasn't, per it was perception. Same thing though. Look, perception and, and perspective, same thing. So this says here, you'll release that. You'll realize that there's only one thing you can change, and that is your perspective. And find peace in knowing that what you've endured has, has purpose, even if you don't understand it yet. Decision. Oh, my goodness. There's some kind of decision that you're going to be that needs to be made, whether this is a job, a business or love. Don't delay making a decision. Waiting for the perfect time, you'll end up missing out. OK, like I said earlier, like some of y'all will, will be choosing because that energy has been coming up here for a few weeks now, where it's like choosing between old love and new love. And this past person, this five of cups done popped out so many damn times. I'm so sick of that five of cups. If this person don't handle whatever it is, <laughs> they got to handle y'all oh my gosh it's annoying and there goes that uh world card energy i told you about earlier right completion i told you i felt this it says you'll reach some kind of completion or you're or you're very close leaving you feeling happy accomplished a new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge so you're starting a new cycle in love don't be afraid here literally i'm gonna pick these cards up don't be afraid to take a leap of faith in this new love and this new direction, right? Don't be afraid to trust your intuition here, all right? You're having a different perspective and trust that intuition, right? Because you're learning. You're learning from your past mistakes. You know what it is that you need to release or maybe you're on that journey now. Everybody's timeline is looking different. Uh, but whatever it is, Spirit is telling you to make the best decision for you, you know, um, just make the best decision for you, not for anybody else, for you. So I love y'all. Um